Yes, kripto sözlük. Yes, kripto sözlük. Yes, kripto sözlük. Arkadaşlar şu an yanımda IOTA'nın kurucusu Sergey Popov var ve güzel bir mini bir röportaj yapacağız kendisiyle. Welcome Mr. Popov. Thank you, thank you very much for your accepting my invitation. You're welcome. Intonation. You're welcome. Actually I would like to ask you one or two question for okay. you. First of all is how do you see the cryptocurrency or blockchain position within five years? Do you have any vision for the following years? Well. I can say you frankly, if I knew how to predict the future, I would mine Bitcoin in 2009. But yeah, well, I really hope that it will flourish, that will it will advance, it will dominate the world, and we will do in IOTA Foundation. We will do everything for IOTA to succeed. But. The market is unpredictable. The future is yes. unpredictable. It's like uh, they say sometimes that do what you have to do and come what may. Yeah. Many people love maybe from Turkey IOTA. Oh, that's great. Many people know. trading for IOTA. Would you like to say something to fund from Turkey for IOTA? Well, first of all, I have to say that I was really surprised, positively surprised by this. I didn't expect this at all. And um, what I have to say is that the value is not created by trading, not, not only created by trading, not only created by just support, it's created by participation. So please, dear community, don't sit yeah. and wait. Take part, take ownership. Yes, which is really, really, really true. I think because yeah, you you say actually don't only trade it, be part of it. Yes, be part of it. Yeah, yeah. Be, please be part of it. Think and how you evolve it. Or yes, evolve think it. think how how you can help it. Yeah. So from our part of Fiota Foundation, we are intending to open more their research and their development in the coming months. So I hope it would be a great opportunity. For for the community to come in and participate because we, we will need testers we will need uh, creative people to propose new solutions and uh, improvements and so on and so forth so please be part of it yeah according to my thoughts you're also working closely Volkswagen right in Germany how you how you spell it in uh, uh, German? Volks, uh, we say it's Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Yeah. Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Okay. Volkswagen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, um, so uh, of course we are in a dialogue with uh, many engineers from Volkswagen uh, to create a proof proof of concept and s such things. So I I cannot say that there is any a great official partnership, but uh, yeah. of course we are in dialogue with them and uh, uh, Volkswagen as well as all the others are welcome to come and use IOTA. IOT will be the mainstream within blockchain or for industrial revolution. I which, hope so. Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. Which is really enjoyed to talk about in my YouTube channel. Okay, thank you very much for everything for my accept uh, to invitation. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye bye. Arkadaşlar, e, IOSA'nın kurucusu Sergey Popov'la bir kısa bir böyle bir e, canlı yayın yaptık. Canlı yayın demeyi pardon, bir röportaj yaptık. Şu an şeydeyiz, Bosporus'tayız. Böyle bir mekandayız. Burada aslında 3 kitle var burada. Influencer'lar var. Biz de burada böyle bir influencer olarak yer alıyoruz kripto sözlük olarak. E, onun dışında investor'lar var. Yani yatırımcılar var ve startup'lar var ve burada pitch sunum yapıyorlar. Bu sunumlarda şöyle oluyor aslında. Böyle bir 5 dakikada bir aslında her startup ve yatırımcı değişe değişe konuşuyorlar. İki kişi bir arada olsun bütün gece o iki kişi konuşmasın diye böyle bir dönüşüm etrafında oluyor. İzlediğiniz için çok teşekkür ederim. Kendinize çok iyi bakın. Kripto sözü takip etmeyi unutmayın. Görüşürüz.
Merhaba arkadaşlar. Merhaba. Kayıttayım ama <gülüyor> çıkar mısınız? <gülüyor> ne haber abi? İyi Tekrar selamlar. selamlar. <gülüyor> Görüşürüz abi tamam. Volkan'la birlikteyiz. Selamlar. Ya, gel merhaba. Ha merhaba. Böyle bir kripto sözlük için şöyle bir fuar alanını çekiyoruz. Daha hazır bir şeyler söylemek ister misiniz? Biz de geldik buraya dinliyoruz. Biz de, biz de medya sponsoruyuz etkinliği. Ama çok amatörce olmuş bunu söyleyeyim ben. Ee, onun dışında bakalım gün içinde neler göreceğiz. Tamam o zaman tamam, görüşmek üzere. Görüşürüz. Haberleşiniz abi. Tamam, sağ olasın. Bay bay sağ olasın. Şimdi arkadaşlar biz kamera kapalıyken sohbet ettik ama şöyle bir kamerayı da alalım dedik. Şöyle Cryptet'ten sevgili Altu bizlerle bir şey söylemek ister misin? Tabii. E, politik şöyle beraberiz aynı ha, zamanda. Ben, evet. Hem Cryptet hem politik olarak aynı zamanda Mert Çağrı, Burak, Ali hep beraberiz burada. Eren'i de gördük. Kaçırmayalım dedik. Bir sohbet edelim dedik. Memnun oldum tanıştığıma tekrar. Memnun oldum. Ben önce tanışmıştık ama. Evet evet ben gelmiştim dinlemiştim sizi. Hı hı. Tamam o zaman başarılar diliyorum. Görüşmek üzere. Hoşçakalın sağ olun bana. Hello Tomli, Mr. Tomli. I'm from a YouTube channel from Crypto Sözlük, which is reaching to 50k uh, cryptocurrency people. I want to ask you two questions actually. What do you forecast for the next bull run, with or without Bitcoin? Oh. I mean, maybe only uh, altcoin bull run. Okay. Please open the phone. Yeah. Well, I I think that um, I think that bear market's largely over. Mm -hmm. So, which means that we're in the process of starting a new bull market and. You know, I think Bitcoin's going to be one of the leading things to own, but altcoins, yes, they'll. Some of those other projects are going to do well, and you know, in a bull market, the yeah. riskiest projects will do the best. Yeah. Okay, I have almost something actually uh, in other style. And do you know what you say before in a negative side of Bitcoin? For example, uh, I'm reading your articles or something like that. You are talking about the positive side. Okay, I am totally accept all of them. But any negative side, do you say yeah. to something like that? Well, I mean, there's a lot of problems with Bitcoin, right? It's yeah. uh, it's slow. It doesn't process a lot yeah, of transactions. So. It uses a lot of energy. But those are also virtues because you know the fact that it's essentially so simple. It's not a. It, it's got a very simple smart contract platform. That's what makes it appealing as well, because it it does what it's designed to do well, which is really create you know immutable you know you know. I read something yesterday. Someone, someone is trying to reduce the Bitcoin block size, uh, smaller than one megabyte. Yeah, is there's, it a, possible? there's a lot of debate. Um, I mean, there's two camps on that. So I don't have a view on whether or not block size, uh, reducing block size, would be useful, but. We'll see. Yeah, again, we'll that's see. that's what makes Bitcoin, you know, a, a vibrant community. You know, they can always fork it. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Oops. Arkadaşlar, çok yoğundu. Çok böyle, böyle bir baskı var aslında Tom Lee tarafında. Elinden geldiğince böyle kısa bir röportaj yapmaya çalıştım dostlar. Böyle 2-3 dakika içerisinde. Ben şu an Volantix'le Yannis'le birlikteyiz. Mr. Yannis. Onunla birazcık böyle bir kısa bir böyle bir röportaj yapacağız. Blockchain'i konuşacağız. Biraz böyle decentralized exchange'leri konuşacağız. Welcome Mr. Yannis. Hello. Thank you for accepting my invitation. Sure, it's a pleasure. 
Um, so I'm here representing Volantix. Yeah, Volantix. Before Volantix, maybe it's a good question to ask you what's blockchain according to ah, yeah. your talk. Okay. According to your talk, what's blockchain? Yeah, okay, blockchain is a distributed uh, way to do computation, to store data. It's like a distributed database. Um, coming from computer science, I should not say it's new. In computer science, there were ideas about distributed databases, but blockchain managed to make this into a product. It is the main invention behind Bitcoin. And today it's used in many markets and many industries, not only finance, not only crypto. Blockchain aslında bir, bir dağıtık defter teknolojisi diyor ve sadece kripto parayla ilgili değil yani aslında onu çok daha ötesinde diyor. The another question is how do you look for uh, decentralized exchange for upcoming five years within five years and will you have any investments in Turkey for decentralized exchange? So I think decentralized uh, exchanges are going to be the future. I think decentralization is definitely a very powerful technology that is going to be here in five years and more. Um, we have to help decentralization. Sometimes decentralization becomes very chaotic. So we think that machine learning and AI yes. is a good way to help the algorithms that are built on top of decentralization. I think Turkey is, um, is a good place to hold the conference and discuss these things because um, people here are well educated. They, they, there is a lot of technology, knowledge, and on the other side, uh, people are also ready to try new ideas. So they are very open and dynamic. Okay, and... Um, and AI, AI, yeah. AI. Yes, so um, as I said, AI can help where you have a lot of computation, a lot of things happening, and you don't want to introduce human bias. So um, usually it's better to have uh, decisions taken on the basis of previous knowledge. This is the idea of AI. AI is going to learn, that's why it's also called machine learning. It's going to learn from experience and it's going to propose a solution. Um, we, we also use collective intelligence, not only artificial intelligence. So these are important aspects in my view. Yes. yes. So, yes, I think uh, what I would like to say to finish is that um, all of these are very new things. I'm not saying they are easy to use. I'm not saying they are solving the problems in one day. But I think it's the direction we have to go. And I think young people have a great opportunity today to, to work in uh, AI and uh, blockchain and uh, machine learning. Yes, even if you know you are closer to a cryptocurrency environment, for example, if you want to use Ether Delta or something like uh, this kind of exchange, decentralized exchange, you need to really, really learn positions, the style. It's very hard to use, I think. Uh, for example, Ether Delta. Volantix is going to be, be uh, better and easier than ever. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, it, this is true. Um, right now, some of this uh, crypto stuff seems very technical. So, one of our big efforts, the Spucci, which is an analytical engine, is constructed in such a way to be understandable by everybody. So, we want to make sure people that are not technical can use our exchange platform, Videx, with no danger. So, that's why Vespucci is there to signal if there is a scam coin, if there is a, a, a good coin. So, we give advice to people that are not specialists. Yeah, Probably you, you have filtered feature powered by community, right? We have a lot of criteria. Vespucci is, is differs from other engines because it tries to have a comprehensive view and we have a lot of criteria and also Vespucci tries to learn from the feedback of users. So, this is what we call collective intelligence. So, it's getting better and better every day. Yes. Thank you very much for your Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.